So we're gonna go explore this track that goes into a ravine. So yeah, looks a bit steep, but at least I can take the dog off leash now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, let's go. Don't cause trouble either. Wait, wait. Hey. So one thing I've noticed after being retrenched a few times, oh, he's got the zoomies. After being retrenched in my 50s, is you really start to feel depressed after a while because it's just, you, you just get the realization that you're probably never going to get a real job again and you're going to have to work for substandard wages or do the type of jobs that no one else wants to do hey stop that stop it i'm going to put you on the leash last time i did this he buddy almost poked his eye out it's quite the reckless dog he's a belgian sheep dog in case anyone's wondering and even though He's not specifically a companion dog, it turns out he's a great companion dog. So anyhow, when, when you're staving off depression and just feeling of uselessness, um, after four years of being mostly unemployed, I decided I wanted to get a, a dog, you know, something to focus my attention on. So, and he really does the job. So I don't even think about being unemployed much anymore because I'm just so happy having fun with the dog. So if you're looking for a... Come on, get going. Stop running. If you're looking for, you know, a free, free therapy, then a dog is a good choice. Warning though that this dog is not the best dog if you're not an active person. He needs a lot of exercise. So maybe if you're not an active person, maybe something more along the lines of a doodle type of dog or a greyhound, uh, which surprisingly need uh, probably the laziest of all the dog breeds. So. So, even though I don't feel that great about things, about my future, I'm not really thinking about it either, so. Come on. Come on. Hey. Come on. Come on. He's in that stage at the moment where he half listens. He's too excited. Okay, ciao, next time. <laughs>